Hi, my name is Jackie and a welcome back to my channel. And if I have done things correctly, if I have managed my time wisely, today is October 31st, today is Halloween, and I thought a wonderful way to celebrate the holiday would be to share with you folks some spectacularly spooky blends. Sidebar, sorry for all of the background noise. They're doing some construction on my road. They're like literally right across the street digging in my neighbor's yard. So. Sorry, bear with me here. So yes, today we are diving into some spooky blends, some horror themed blends, but before we get into it as usual, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and smash that subscription button so you know when I upload, we like to talk about tea here. So today we are actually looking at blends from So today we're actually looking at some blends from Friday afternoon tea. Uh, Friday afternoon tea actually has on their website a section in their fandom blends called horror and uh, there are about 10 blends i have about seven of the 10 blends in my collection uh i feel like i probably have like half of what friday afternoon tea offers in my collection like it's a problem and i swear i have like a more in-depth like Friday afternoon tea video coming, but we're just focusing on some of her spooky blends today. And not like all of them because, because most of them are like black tea or poor based blends. And if I wanna sleep tonight, I have to be a little bit conservative uh, on how much I consume. So we're just looking at three of my favorites today. Those are the Black Cat Blend, the Witch's Brew Blend, and the Underworld Blend. So uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and dive into, let's just go ahead and dive into Underworld uh, because it's in my hand. <laughs> Underworld is a blend of puar, black tea, pomegranate seed, dark chocolate, chicory root, and natural black cherry flavoring. And Friday Afternoon Tea writes, This dark, dank, lush blend of earthy sweet decadence is a walk on the underside in a cup. We took inspiration from ancient Greek mythology and crafted a tea to take you on a journey below. Cave aged puar black tea melts with shaved dark chocolate and black cherry flavor to form a bed of velvet darkness. Dry, rooty chicory and bright it pops a pomegranate light your way. Sidebar again, as I was searching the website for information on this blend, I am realizing that it's actually not under the horror collection. This is, it's still a fandom blend, but if you search, it'll, it'll pop up under podcasts. And uh, this blend in particular was inspired by a podcast called Fireside Folk Tales. It's a podcast that showcases the talent of queer folks all around the world, focusing on adaptations of myths and legends. I guess I'm saying this is spooky because it's called Underworld, and that makes me think of like, I don't know, Hades or heck. Asterisk, because I try to be kid friendly. I mentioned in sort of like my life update video that I really love Friday Afternoon Tea and sort of the magic that she does with her pour blends. And this is this is one of this is one of my favorite like blends, not just like pour blends, but this is like one of my favorite Friday afternoon tea blends. Hold on, let me just I just want to take a sip. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. There's just this really beautiful woodiness and earthiness that is coming from the chicory root and the poir and the dark chocolate. There's also this wonderful sweet fruity brightness that is coming from the cherry and the pomegranate. This reminds me of sort of like a sophisticated dark chocolate cherry cordial. I'm like, I love it. I love it. You know, I'm also thinking, I think I also thought it was part of the horror collection because my original thought was those movies, those underworld movies. I mean, those had like, those had like vampires and werewolves in them, right? The one with Kate Beckinsale from like early 2000s. Does anybody remember those? Okay, next. Next up, we are sipping Black Cat. Black Cat is a blend of oolong tea, lemon peel, pomegranate seeds, and natural vanilla flavoring. And Friday Afternoon Tea writes, a toasty and sweet oolong blend with notes of vanilla and citrus, inspired by the faithful confidant, advisor, and all around reliable friend, you can have a cup of Luna goodness anytime. 
Sip it to bolster your spirits as needed. And I am uh, sipping this one in uh, one of my favorite teacups ever. It's a Paragon teacup and I'm kind of an accidental Paragon collector. Uh, but actually, Jan over at Tea with Jan occasionally sells these brew kindness boxes, which comes with uh, an antique teacup, a couple pieces of like antique teaware. Mine came with like, uh, I think like a, a little butter knife and a teeny tiny um, sugar spoon. Maybe it wasn't a sugar spoon, but it was a little, it was like a little tiny spoon with like a teacup at the very end of the, at the top of it, at the tip and the handle. And she also included, I wanna say some honey that's local to Nova Scotia, as well as some tea from a Nova Scotia tea vendor. And it was such a delightfully curated experience. So if she ever builds those boxes again, if she ever curates those boxes again, I 100% recommend them. I am like, I'm like in love with this teacup. This is like, this is like my favorite, this is like my favorite teacup. I, it makes me so happy. So, but back to the tea. So black cat tea, while the image of a black cat, of the motif of a black cat is one that is common in, common to Halloween culture. This one is actually part of the Magical Girl collection. Uh, and this is a blend that is inspired by Luna, the cat from Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon. I still occasionally like go back and watch old episodes of Sailor Moon. I mean like I guess they're all old at this point. Mm. Oh man. This is like this has gotten okay by this point <laughs> by this point this is like lukewarm and it's like somehow better lukewarm than it is like like freshly poured, freshly steeped. This is a darker roasted oolong, so it has those like roasty, toasty yancha vibes. And there's just like this wonderful citrusy bite from the uh, lemon peel that's in here. A little bit of subtle fruitiness from the pomegranate seeds, but the thing that like the thing that I'm like really excited about at this moment is the vanilla element, the creamy vanilla element is like really, really shining after this has cooled down that I don't really notice when it's freshly steeped. I'm usually pretty like indifferent about roastier, toastier oolongs. I, I personally prefer the greener oolongs, but I feel like, I feel like this one gives me like a new appreciation for 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 those roasted oolongs and last but not least we are diving into witch's brew witch's brew is a blend of black tea toffee chips dark chocolate and natural chocolate and raspberry flavoring and friday afternoon tea writes it is the truth universally acknowledged that the head of a witch's academy needs fuel to manage the drudgery of paperwork why not take your fuel with a dash of mischief the sensual blend of floral black tea with lush dark chocolate, sweet raspberry, and creamy crunchy toffee was created in collaboration with local author Rachel Rausch. I always forget how much I love the Witch's Brew blend. Mm. This one triggers some serious nostalgia for me. I don't know if anybody else remembers this, but uh, there used to be like a Brock's brand, like, uh, bulk candy section at the grocery store, or at least the grocery stores that I frequented, and they had like, I don't know, malted milk balls, um, gummy gummy candies, and like caramels, like they're, they're these different flavored caramels. Uh, they had like, I don't know, like a vanilla caramel, a raspberry caramel, just a regular caramel, a dark chocolate caramel, a butter rum toffee caramel, and uh, this reminds me of sort of this hybrid between the raspberry caramel and the butter rum caramel. Oh my god. I feel like I can't explain this any better than how Friday already explained it on her website. Uh, there is this really delicious buttery caramel flavor coming from the toffee pieces. 
There's also this really wonderful, bright, fruity, juicy raspberry flavor. And like those are the two more dominant flavors. And then sort of like lurking in the background because this is Halloween after all, there's just like a subtle cocoa note, but also like the black tea really does have this really beautiful floral aroma. I don't know what kind of black tea this is. I am really curious. It just says black tea on the website. I don't know. This one is super delicious, super, super, super delicious, slightly sweetened. I am drinking it plain right now because I don't need that sugar. I'm gonna be loaded up with it <laughs> after this weekend because of trick-or-treating. It's Oliver's first year going trick-or-treating. He is dressing up as a uh, skeleton and then his dad is dressing up as Buzz Lightyear and I didn't really get anything, so... I don't know. I guess I'm I'm going to be I'm going to be a dud. <laughs> but there we have it. Three delicious blends. She has more, many of which are in my collection already. There is a shadow self blend, which is like a blend of of poire and smoked lapsang and like rosemary and raspberry leaf. She has O negative, which is a blend inspired by vampires. <laughs> Not the goth metal band typo negative like I thought. Uh, but this one is a black tea, rooibos, chicory root, coriander, and a rose petal. Sounds delightful. She has Dorian Gray. This one is a green tea, black tea, ginger root, and blue cornflower blend. And I also picked up, I also have Raise the Dead, which is uh, inspired by zombies. But uh, this is another poire blend with cranberry in it. Like actual like chunks of cranberry. Let's uh, can I find one in here? I might have I might have used them all already, but like I'm talking like like cranberry halves. This one's super earthy with like a slight tartness from the cranberry. And there's even more on the website. And like I guess it's like really weird timing because Halloween is today done and over with today. And then we're moving on to like November slash Thanksgiving and December slash Christmas or Hanukkah I guess. And like I don't know. I guess spooky blends seem really out of place, but. They're just delicious blends, and so whether or not it's like spooky season anymore, they're still worth checking out, especially this Witch's Brew blend. Oh my gosh. That is, as they say, that. That is the end of this video. Uh, I would love to hear from you folks. Let me know how you guys are spending your Halloween. Are you going trick-or-treating? Are you staying home handing out candy? Did any of you folks dress up for the holiday? Let me know in the comments below. Also, did you drink any spooky blends this season? Of course, there was the, the Pumpkin Earl Grey from David's Tea that I sipped, the Headless Horseman blend from Call Me Sweetie, uh, any pumpkin chai, any and all pumpkin chai, pumpkin spice teas, all of them. I drank them all. Well, not all of them, just like three or four of them. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what spooky Halloween-y teas you sipped this season, this sipped this month, sipped in October. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.